I was so excited about the article that I forgot to play the music. Okay, so like, listen, it just I was, that's how good our content is, Sanjay. I, so, I think I, I I need to take away control of the yeah, of the little you probably soundboard should. from you. So you probably, that you probably should too, control the soundboard from now. On. Oh, All right, it's funny. tech yeah. rec time. Yep. It's everybody loves this time. What do you yeah. have for us this week, Sunday? So I've got a product that I'm actually using right now, and you probably didn't even realize it, but the Logitech Lytra Glow Premium LED Streaming Light. So uh, I found this. Uh, it looks interesting, um, and I thought, oh, let's let's give it a try and see if it's any good. And I got to say, this thing is actually really pretty nice. It's compact. It hangs off of your monitor. Mm -hmm. The clip is pretty small. Like my monitor, it's a pretty small bezel. It's not intrusive. It, yeah. it goes up and down. So this is a light that you can use when you're doing a video call or recording podcasts or anything else like that. Um, yep. And it's it's got kind of a nice soft cover to it. But mm -hmm. you can also adjust the color temperature and the brightness. And if you're using a Mac or a PC, unfortunately, this doesn't work for me because I'm on Linux. You can actually control the color of the light as well as the intensity through oh, software. Cool. So, oh, nice. um, But if you don't have it, uh, you know, if you're on Linux like me, there's buttons on the back that work perfectly fine. Um, so I'm pretty impressed. And I think I actually might buy another one to kind of fill in light so that I don't have weird shadows or anything else behind me. Yeah. Um, but yeah, That's so great. right now, normally uh, this is a $60 device. Um, it is on sale right now on Amazon for $55. So just check out the link in the show notes um, and you'll find it. I would, the, the lowest price this has ever been is 50 bucks um, using camel, 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 which was mm. my previous tech rec a long time ago. Yeah. Um, so 55 bucks is, is not a bad price. So if you're looking for a light, Check this out. Uh, it seems like it does a really, really good job. Okay. All right. Cool. Awesome. What about you, Adam? What do you got for us today? All right. So I'm going to recommend a tool that I found from our, our friend Brett uh, that we play Fortnite with, uh, quickforget.com. And uh, and so so first of all, I, I, the, that's what first I do every this, day. That's that's like all the time. I, I do I, forget I all the time. Forget everything. Um, so so this is a tool by Automatic. I want to start with that because Automatic is the company that owns Tumblr that owns and, and controls wordpress.com and manages wordpress.org. Um, it's a very, very, very big, reputable tech company. So I want to start there because quickforget.com is a place where you literally, it says the secret is, and you go type in your secret and then you hit save my secret. And then you can send like a customized link to someone. And when they load that link, they can then see your secret for a limited time. So you can say, forget after two views or 72 hours. And you can change that to one view in 24 hours or 12 hours or whatever you want. And you can also share files this way. And so theoretically, if you don't have a good way to share a file with sensitive data or to share information that is sensitive with someone, this is at least one way you can do it that is su significantly superior to sending your password via email. I still am not saying this is the most secure way to send a password or other sensitive information. It's certainly not. There's other better ways probably through Signal or whatever else, but this is significantly better than email. So if you're one of those people that sends sensitive data through email, please do us a favor and use quickforget.com instead. That's all I'm trying to say. So. Yeah. Uh, I just played with it there a little bit. Yeah. It's uh, that's, I like that. That's yes. Yeah pretty neat yeah um i would say like you know just still be careful about the files that you might be sharing this way you know if if you're doing something that actually needs to be secret maybe, maybe put it in a using... password password protected pdf document and then send that through here perhaps like send that's that through e here and, and yeah. send the password in another form somewhere right. else right right even if it's yeah. a text message or, or, or you know, honestly like signal. or maybe i would even suggest like i mean if you're going to be secure and you want to continue using this tool like create a password protected PDF, send it through quickforget.com and then send a separate password, a quick forget the password through quick forget, but separately, right? Maybe, maybe that's a right. way to do it or something like that. Yeah. So anyway, lots of options. It is a reputable tool by a reputable company. I think that's really important to know. I think it's yeah. kind of interesting. So yeah, the only challenge I would say with this one is uh, attachments can only be up to 10 megs. So yeah. You can't send super, super big files. True. Uh, with this, right. which makes sense, uh, yeah. but maybe one day they'll have a, a paid plan for this. 